and welcome to another episode here on Backstage Income, where I share with you some business tips, insights, and things to grow and evolve your business. In today's episode, I'm gonna talk a little bit about lights, because I have a lot of people that uh, look into creating videos online, making courses, products, and um, I'm gonna talk about two different lights. We're gonna compare the ALF7 by Aperture, which is a little bit more premium light, and a little bit more of a discount or cheaper light uh, here with, this is the PLV 380. So let's take a look at them, um, check them out, and I'll give you my own personal thoughts and opinions of when you might wanna buy versus the other. So if you wanna take a look at any of them specifically, the links are in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, when we take a look at these two, uh, you've noticed I went ahead and put uh, my own battery in here. And this is the Castar batteries, by the way. You can check out my video review on that if you want. Uh, but uh, this light right here, uh, the PLV380, is a bit cheaper. It is uh, price-wise cheaper. And the aperture is more of a premium light. So. Uh, and you can definitely tell uh, with the build quality, with the features when you're going into it. But the question is, is, hey, which one should you get? You know, a lot of people compare lights that are of similar stature. But for me, hey, is it is it worthwhile to go ahead and go with the Aperture uh, ALF7 versus this PLV380, this new model? Um, you know, because everybody has different needs. And you really have to know and understand your needs because when you're looking at here, this um, PLV380, this is the ESDDI light, um, you know, and they have actually an older model to it, which is $34. Uh, so you can see that's kind of a black version. Or you have this one, uh, this is uh, $39.99, and in there you get a charger and a little swivel head, along with a small battery. Battery's not huge, so I took that out for now. Uh, but with the ALF7, this is $98. So in other words, $40, you can get two of these lights versus the ALF7, you got, you know, you can get one, right? So it's a two to one, almost two and a half, um, or two, two, two and, and some change, right? And an extra charger. So it really starts to beg the question of, okay, what are these lights for? Who needs them? And which one's better for your needs? Uh, because you see a lot of people comparing this uh, Aperture ALF7 to kind of the MX, the Aperture MX, which is a little smaller, but a little more premium with, with a heat sink and all that kind of stuff. So for me, I wanted to go kind of go the other route and kind of compare this at a different level of, hey, is it worthwhile if you're kind of doing some basic things? So when would you kind of use these lights? Well, normally when I look at these kinds of lights, is I'm typically looking at these as kind of fill lights or accent lights. So let's say I'm doing kind of a product photography or something like that, and here's one of my books, right? So we have a book right here, and all of a sudden, I wanna go ahead and fill this in because maybe it's not light lit enough. So I'll go ahead and pop kind of a battery on here, and then I'll go ahead and turn this on. And all of a sudden, now we're exposed at kind of 99, I'll drop this down percentage wise to maybe about 20. So you can see there is kind of with a little bit of light, I'll bring back it up. So you can see maybe that'll fill things in a little bit more or without it. And you can go ahead and see, hey, how much light do you want? Do you want light maybe on this side? And you can see I'm, I'm making it a little more exposed just so you can understand the point and concept behind it. Uh, but now you can start to play with it. How much light do you want? Does that look better? Does that look better? Or maybe totally completely gone. So you can see I'm adding it in maybe just on the sides, right? I just want it maybe on my backdrop. So you can really start to do quite a lot with these kinds of lights um, in that regard. But where else would you use this? And I think on the go is another thing that you could do is if you're doing a lot of wedding videography or uh, even photography, you, you could slap these things on your camera because they do have uh, the hot shoe mounts. This one has one on almost all sides except the, the pow power one, whereas this one you can only mount it kind of on one area with the exception of um, this does tilt a bit and if you get a different hot shoe or something you can of course rotate it but it only mounts in this bottom um, kind of area so i guess that's kind of a little bit of a disadvantage but 
you know, again, you have to understand where do I use this? Well, on the go, I would say if you're looking to kind of uh, travel a bit and use this light um, on the go, the Aperture AL F7 definitely is a better fit. And the reason I'd say it's a better fit is probably because it's more versatile. You have, you know, a couple of a uh, couple of different adapters or areas where you can mount it. Um, you can also charge by USB-C. Um, so you can charge or power it on by USB-C, which is very flexible. You can power it by another um, amp here connector. Uh, you also have much more power in it. So if I go ahead and plug um, you know, the battery in, and I'll show you right here, if I try to light up this book, what I'm gonna do is turn this light on. We went 100% on the light, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, and we'll go ahead, power it on, ramp this up to 99%, because that's as high as it goes, and you'll see the difference. What I'm gonna do is, right now I have the aperture light on, okay, on the book, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll move it, and now I have the um, PLV, uh, 380. So this is the ESDDI light. So again, let me move the aperture one in here at the same spot. And that way you can kind of gauge the power of it. So this right now on its own is the uh, aperture uh, ALF7 light. Okay, let's do a quick swap. Now we have the ESDDI light, PLV 380. Go back, that's the aperture. Here's the 380, that's the aperture, more premium light they say, and here's the ESDDI. So you can really tell the aperture one has just way more brightness to it. Um, and that's why if you were just to have one single light, I would say that uh, definitely the, uh, the aperture ALF7 is the way to go because it's just more flexible. There's you know, more adapters, more connections, more areas where you can go. The temperature is more flexible. So if you're putting it on a camera, you're going to a wedding, this one's way more flexible, but it's more premium. This one, on the other hand, I would say, hey, if you're in a studio setting, things are set up, um, you know, and you got some other lights and you need to fill some things, this does really well. And probably if you ha uh, want like two or three different lights, maybe a little fill here, a little fill here, and a little fill here, or a little fill behind you, like let's say you you know you're on a tight budget and I want to go ahead and here we are at 99%. Can you use it as a background here? And look, look at this. This is right behind my back and you can see now I'm pointing it down and again behind my back and you can see how much amount of uh, power it still has. So it's still quite a bit of power just there to fill in some other area. So, hey, if you need or have the need of, let's say, two or three lights, you know, you could get about three of these versus just, you know, um, one of these, almost, you know, two and then some, two and some change. Because these are about $40 a piece. This is 98. So, 80 bucks for two versus 98. So, if you need a few lights, this one's definitely kind of the way to go. If you need just one really, really good light and you, that's, you're kind of a solo shooter, the ALF7 is the way to go. It's more premium. But of course, um, you know, uh, with that, you have the higher price tag. So anyways, um, those are just kind of my thoughts. Hope they are helpful, insightful, and gives you some things to think about. Um, so basically, it comes down to quantity of lights. All right, so I hope that gives you a little bit of insight. Feel free to subscribe to the channel where we talk more about business, evolving your business, growing your business writing books, creating courses, and a lot of other great stuff. And of course, you could also join me on my newsletter list by clicking the link over here. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.